This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learn something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Let's open up Excel, and once we get into Excel, I want to talk a little bit about the mouse clicking, because if you recognize that there's a difference between a left click and a right click, things are going to be faster and easier for you. So on your mouse, you have a left button, and when you click the left button, it simply activates the cell if you're inside of the area that has the ABCs and the one, two, threes. Now, if you're up inside of the ribbon, I happen to be on the home ribbon here. Let me click on January. So I selected January, and if I click on the paint bucket, the paint bucket currently has the color yellow on it. If I just click on yellow, then what I do with a single left click is I actually select that thing, which happens to be yellow paint, that I clicked on. Now, I'm going to click on February this time down in the spreadsheet, and you'll notice my mouse shape is different. Down in the spreadsheet next to February, I have a, a kind of a fluffy looking plus sign, but when I move my mouse up into the ribbon, my mouse changes to a left slanted arrow. Now remember, your arrow could be a different color than mine. So you might have a black arrow or a clear arrow or a white arrow or some other shape even for an arrow, but when I'm up in the in the ribbon area, my mouse is going to be a different shape than when I'm down in the working space. Now this time, I can click on the little drop down arrow next door to the paint bucket, and that's going to do something else. That's going to give me choices. So now I have choices of the colors that I can select from. And so when I left click here, let's make this one this bluish color. Now I've identified a little different color that I want to use to fill in that space. And you'll notice so far, I've been using a left click in order to accomplish my task. Well, while I'm on February, I'm going to move my mouse over here on top of February, and this time I'm going to switch to a right mouse click. And when I switch to a right mouse click, a right mouse click is going to give you shortcut menus. And shortcut menus give you the most popular features associated with whatever it is that you click on. So for instance, one of the most popular items here is format cells. So when I drop down here to format cells and I click on format cells, this dialog box opens and they call them a dialog box because you talk to your computer. And I can do a lot of things. Let me just move my, I'm just clicking on the words format cells. I'm just clicking with a left mouse click and I'm dragging. And now you can see that what a left mouse click is going to do for me is it's actually going to move the dialog box over. So I have multiple tabs. I have number, alignment, font, border, fill. Fill's the one I want because fill is going to be the different colors that I can utilize inside of a cell. And again, I go back to a left mouse click, and this time I'm going to change February to purple. It shows me the sample here at the bottom, and I simply say OK with a left mouse click, and now my cell for February is purple. So remember, the way I got there is I did a right click on the cell, and the purpose of the right click is for choices. And once I did the right click, then I selected whichever choice I wanted from the list. Now, while I'm on a right click, I want to talk about insert and delete. Notice that with these two, you have the three little dots. That's called an ellipse. And whenever you have an ellipse, an ellipse also means that a dialog box is going to open up. And on insert, what's going to happen is you're actually going to insert a cell. And or delete, you're going to delete a cell. Let's choose delete. I want to get rid of February. Now, if you just want to delete February, that's completely different, and you want to leave the cell there, this is going to get rid of the entire cell where February is located. So I'm going to go ahead and click on delete, and it says, well, left mouse click here to move this. What do you want to do? Do you want to shift all the other cells left? Do you want to shift all the other cells up? Do you want to delete the entire row? Do you want to delete the entire column? Let's just shift everything up. So I click on OK, and when I click on OK, Look, February is completely gone, and now December, November, every other month has moved up. That's what delete does. Oops, my mistake. I didn't really want to do that. So how do you get rid of something, or redo, or undo, or whatever the terminology is you want to use? Well, undo is a terminology that I want here, and at the very top left-hand corner of my screen, I have this button here called the undo button, and it says I can undo that delete I just did, 
I click the undo button and it puts February back in because, oops, I didn't mean to delete that. You know, I did. I wanted to show you how to delete it, but you can also see that undo is very quick and very easy to access. Control Z is the keyboard shortcut for that if you're a keyboard shortcut person. Okay, left click, you select something. Right click, you get choices. What if you're up here in the ribbon? What if I right click on this paint bucket? I get choices. Now, right now, I don't want any of those choices. And so, ooh, I don't want those choices. How do you get rid of something when you do a right click and you don't want it? Escape. You just hit the escape key on your keyboard and it takes that, that little extra menu away. Very nice, very convenient, right? All right, so one more clicking issue. You also have these features that show up on your screen and they allow you choices. Let me show you one and then we'll talk a little bit about it. So I'm going to click on December. And when I click on December, notice this little box in the bottom right hand corner. I want to rest my mouse on that. This is called an autofill handle. And there'll be more lessons on this at a different time. But for right now, we're just going to click and hold and not let go. We're just going to drag to the right. And when we let go, this little thing that pops up right here, this is called a smart icon. And folks, smart icons are going to show up all over for you. Now, for this particular task, autofill allows you to fill a series. So after December, you'd start over with January and February. So this one is simply saying, hey, look, I'm going to do these dates for you, these months, excuse me, these months for you. Well, maybe that's all I want. I know I don't need this smart icon. You can either ignore it and it'll go away. Sometimes you can hit escape on your keyboard and it'll go away, but usually you just keep working and as you work, it disappears. And you, so you just simply ignore it. You just completely and totally ignore it and it goes away. So I wanna go back over here. I'm gonna click on F1 and I'm gonna type the number five. Now, smart icon, I want my smart icon to show up, right? I wanna do something with this number five. So I get that little left, the little, um, excuse me, uh, crosshair it's called in the bottom right hand corner. I click, I hold, I don't let go. And now, oh, there it is, the little smart icon. You see, it wants to help me. It wants to tell me that there are choices that I have with this action that I just made. So I'll click on the smart icon, and the smart icon says, hey, do you want to fill the series, which would count for me, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Did you just want to copy everything, which just gives you all fives? Did you want to, and there are more choices, and we're not going to go into all these choices right now, because the feature that I really want to focus on is any time you get a smart icon that pops up, click on it, look at the options that are available for you, and then either utilize those options or just ignore the smart icon altogether and just go on to whatever your next task is. But smart icons show up throughout Microsoft products and especially inside of Microsoft Excel, you're going to see them regularly. And people say to me all the time, oh, that little thing drives me crazy, how do I get rid of it? And my response to them is, you don't want to get rid of it because it's power in your fingertips, right? It's going to give you popular features associated with whatever task you just did. So whenever you see the smart icon, click on it, learn what they do for you, and then you'll know when you want to ignore them because you don't need them. And you'll know when you want to click on a smart icon because the smart icon is there to help you do something exactly like you want it and you can get it done more quickly and more efficiently. So left click with the left mouse button, right click with the right mouse button, and anytime you see those smart icons pop up, click on them, check them out, and use them when you need them. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven-day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.